more! Here are 20 fun facts about Benson. I'm pretty sure they already did this on the Fung Bros channel. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's magical. <laughs> I don't want to go to your magic show. <laughs> oh. It's good, it's good, it's good. Oh. Oh. So, so you would think it's somebody else in this Troll. office. Benson has a lot of stuff in his car. And one of the weirdest things that I've found in this car is mouthwash. And I was like, man, that is so strange. I've never seen anyone put have mouthwash in their car. But now that I think about it, it's the smartest thing to have in your car. It's something that I want to implement into my life. Benson drives like an old person. I shouldn't say that. Benson just drives really safe and smart. Like he, he just picks one lane and he doesn't care if it's moving slow or if the car in front of him is moving slow. He's just in that one lane the whole way. And I, I was sitting in this car once and I was just like, there's plenty of room to go to the side. He prefers not to drive while the sun is setting, so he'll actually stay in the office until it's completely dark before he drives back home. Ben does not like sun. One summer, Benson took apart his entire car, repainted it, and put it back together. That's just the type of person Benson is. The amount of skill required to do that is amazing to me. So when uh, Benson goes on uh, errand runs, like to get coffee or, or uh, some equipment fixes, he likes to bring me along and uh, really enjoy spending time with him in his car. Every morning before Benson comes to work, he actually goes to the gym and practices wrestling, which is really, uh, well first that's really cool. Before he spends a full day here, he actually has this other life where he like tackles other people and, and brings them to submission, which uh, you wouldn't expect. Benson is a compulsive shopper. He spends a lot of his time on Craigslist and he has a lot of stories, well, a lot of strange stories about buying firewood, film gear on Craigslist. And he, even if he doesn't need something, he'll just end up buying it because it's a good deal. So it also explains why he has so many sandbags. He has tons of sandbags. Just weighing them down. Benson doesn't like peaches. That means peach pie, peach cobbler, and everything. Oh, canned peaches. Yeah, that's not very good. Benson loves boy bands and pop songs. He'll spontaneously burst into Kelly Clarkson, Britney Spears, Taylor Swift, randomly, and then if I quote Hilary Duff, he got me. The day Benson and I truly had a bond was when I discovered that he was a Taylor Swift fan. When he mentioned some of the songs that he did, like I was like, okay, you know your stuff. And this was actually really early um, in his time here, so he was still very quiet and he didn't, I don't think anyone really knew Benson that well, but then like one day during lunch, he just agreed with me on something and I was like, oh, you're a Swifty. So a lot of people are probably gonna tell you this about Benson, but his catchphrase or something he says a lot is it happens. So for example, you can tell him, hey Benson, a lot of the viewers really love the edit that you do with Christine's water bottle and his response is gonna be something like, <laughs> it happens. So Benson and I have this really strange uh, connection because Benson's name is the name of my cousin, whose name is Benson. But on top of that, Benson has two brothers, Brian and Wesley, and my brother's name is Brian. So I didn't know this until maybe uh, uh, a few months after he started working here, but it was like a huge like mind blow. So uh, that's kind of cool. Benson makes a lot of dad jokes, like really cheesy lame jokes, and then hence I kind of gave him the nickname Ben Dad, because like Ben Son, but he acts like a dad, so. Been dead. <laughs> Kinda caught on now around the office and now some of you guys are starting to use it. Good job. <laughs> Benson loves water. He drinks water all the time in the office, which is also very strange because I rarely see him go to the restroom. And now that I think about it, where does all that water go? Team A really um, ships Benson and I when they're not in the office. Um, we don't know what, what that is, but uh, Benson is a very generous person, and not just with uh, his material things, but also with his time and attention. And I think that in some ways that's more valuable, although I still really appreciate having his refrigerator here. Benson is a really great guy. He's always willing to lend a hand. Fun fact, I don't think he really ever says no. So he's always willing to go above and beyond, never asks questions, just tries to be there for you whenever he can. He enjoys ramen. Taco Bell and Jack in the Box. But it's likely that it's all very convenient and not so much why 
he actually enjoys it. I don't know. I couldn't pinpoint it until now, but Benza kind of reminds me of Buzz Lightyear. Just in the fact that he's very heroic, he's very strong, resourceful, and reliable. If any of us were ever in a dire situation and all of us were freaking out, trapped in a room, he would be the guy to quietly walk away and then come back and say, oh, there's a way out and I killed all the bad guys. To me, Benson reminds me of Baymax from Big Hero 6. Uh, just his, his stature and his protectiveness is something that you feel very safe in, you know. Our Baymax was there to take care of Hero. Um, just like uh, Benson is here to take care of Wong Fu Productions. He's very good at that. Bonus facts! I never met another Asian guy that showed blushing as much as he does. Like, he literally gets like, like red dots, like right here. And since he has such prominent cheeks, they're like, they're like little Rudolph noses next to his nose. What's most impressive about his Halloween costume is how quickly he came up with it. He had had no idea what he was gonna be up until like a few hours before a party. And he went to the 99 cent store, saw a magnifying glass, went to Salvation Army, saw a hat, and was like, oh, Inspector Ratchet. Add fishnet stockings and you have yourself a great costume for Halloween. Benson has the best replies to text messages. I hate to admit that, but it's true. They're very funny, very, very witty. If you don't follow Benson on Instagram, you definitely should because he has the cutest Yorkie. It's really nice to see someone like Benson who's big and strong show a lot of affection towards his cute little dog. All right, thank you guys for watching. Uh, thank you, Chris, for editing that. Thank you to the Wong Fu crew for giving those facts about me. Leave a comment below if there's any facts you think they might have missed or if there's facts about the other crew that you'd like us to include in the next video. Correction, I don't wrestle anymore. I wrestled in high school, but I do jujitsu in the morning. But yeah, don't forget to subscribe and follow us on our social media. And um, I think it's time for a coffee break.